Princeton freshman, Loomis Chafee, class of 2020, oh, God. out in Connecticut. Drop the hammer, Matthew Farrell is going to take the win. Great score! What's going on, guys? Today, I will be giving you my thoughts on the Zoom X Dragonfly Spikes after my first workout in them. So the first workout I did in these was 16 by 100 um, on 60 seconds. So around 45 seconds of rest for each, after each 100. Here's the garment up on your screen. Um, I met up with my high school coach to do this workout. So he's the other guy um, in a few of the shots. So before we, I give you my thoughts on the Nike Zoomex Dragonfly after my first workout. I'll roll some of the footage from the workout and let you guys see how these look on foot and especially at faster paces. So hope you guys enjoy that footage and I'll catch back up with you shortly. definitely see the Zoomex foam in the front condensing after a step so there is give in the front um, but a major drawback for me compared to the Nike um, next percents was that in the forefoot here because I'm a forefoot striker I feel like I have more bounce in my step and you can see the comparison in foam like there's just a good amount more foam on the uh, next percent than on the Dragonfly. So these just feel a little bit more bouncy to me compared to these. But obviously wearing the next percents, you don't get any of that grip that you have in the um, Dragonflies. So overall, my honest opinion was I was a little bit disappointed in how the Nike ZoomX Dragonfly felt underfoot. And this might be because my expectations were so high. I was kind of expecting a next percent spike and it was more felt more like a spike than a next percent if that makes sense just because the foam felt minimal which is obvious when you put them next to each other and because of the less amount of foam in the dragonfly you don't get that as much bounce or energy return um, for each stride which was a little bit unfortunate but nonetheless, when you're comparing these weights, throw them on the scale right now for you guys. So the Dragonfly comes in at 4.95 ounces in my size, 10 and a half. So I wear 10 and a half in um, the Dragonfly, but usually I'm 11. So these are size 11 in the next percent. So these come in at 7.3 ounces. So much lighter, so it really depends on what you're going for in a spike. Um, but honestly, I, I, I was more impressed wearing these and I think I would still grab these for 5K on the track, 10K on the track, just because I felt like I was getting less energy return from these. That could also be because this has a plastic plate, not a carbon fiber plate, which is in the next percent. Um, but overall, I think it has to do with the, um, the amount of foam in the drop. So this has a 10 millimeter drop from the heel to the toe. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the drop is on the um, Dragonflies, but you don't really have as much of that um, rotation as in wearing, wearing the next percent. So overall, uh, the best, obviously the best spike I've worn um, felt fast, 
but just a little bit disappointed it didn't feel faster and didn't truly feel like a next percent spike. What would I use this bike for in the future? I would say I would use this anything below 5K. Um, so I use these 5K and up most likely. Anything below 5K, these just start feeling a little too chunky. Um, and I think these would really, really shine. So those are my initial impressions of the Nike Zoom X Dragonfly Spike after my first workout. Um, yeah, again, the best bike I've ever worn, but when you have these on the market, I still don't think the Nike Zoom X Dragonfly can compete with the Next Percent. Um, that's just my personal opinion. I hope this was helpful for any of you looking to buy a pair of Nike Zoom X Dragonfly Spikes or just like figuring out which spikes you want to buy or which shoes you want to buy for racing. Um, next up, I'll be testing these, the Nike Air Zoom Victory Spikes in a workout. And I have high hopes for these. Um, I'm hoping I have feel more energy return than the Dragonfly and the Nike Air Zoom Victory Spike because of these air pockets in the front and because of the fact that these have a carbon fiber plate running through them. So hit that subscribe button if you wanna see my first impressions after a workout in the Nike Zoom X Victory Spikes. That'll be coming shortly. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.